Hi YouTubers, welcome to this part 6 of this do-it-yourself project of installing a Tremec T56 6-speed transmission into a 1968 Chevelle. In this segment I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of the finished tunnel patch in a prime condition you know before I painted it and then I'm going to show some video segments of it in place in the car all screwed in and uh, ready for the transmission to be put in. So stay tuned and here we go. All right, here is the completed transmission tunnel patch. You will note that I screwed things in place instead of welding. I just don't have access to welding. So what I did was I just used number six machine screws, three eighth inch long and some half inch long. And we just drilled various holes. screw things down. Everything is nice and tight. <clears throat> I had to add an extra plate on this side here because that's where it was cut for my four speed so I made a plate for that and it ties right into the tunnel patch. Everything is completed and then what I did was I epoxied the nuts on the opposite side so that I can take this tunnel ram off without worrying about dropping the nuts and I can take it off with the transmission in place. I'll show you that in a second. All right, here we are <clears throat> underneath and you can see all the screw screws that are in attached to the body and you will note that these screws I go into the body are epoxied. That way I don't have to remove them. I can just unscrew the screws and they just come out and these nuts stay in place. Everything is all screwed together very tight. There's the back of the tunnel. Looks like everything is ready to be primed now at the body and then once it's primed I'll put some undercoating. Everything is ready for the next step. Alright, transmission is in place and centered pretty good on the console. Nice and high. Actually probably higher than what we need to be, but it gave us good clearance. So the next step is to put on the some accessories in the boot and then we'll be good to go here. Okay, our next step is done. We put our plates on top of our tunnel patch to seal up the area where the shifter comes through the floor. There's a rubber grommet in between that to keep it sealed. So we are ready for the next step to put the shifter on.